A 10-year-old boy was arrested and faces a battery charge after attacking his teacher yesterday. Witnesses say the boy has emotional behavioral problems and got mad after being disciplined. So will East Allen school leaders add more security to classrooms in the wake of this? News Channel 15's Megan Royce has been looking into that, and she joins us now with what she uncovered. Megan? Well, the classroom was full of students and a couple of staff members, a dangerous event that EACS officials say they're taking seriously. We have very few reports of, of students getting out of control to that point. Officials say what unfolded here at Heritage Elementary School is far from common. Teaching assistants say it all started after the boy was disciplined for being disrespectful. According to court documents, they say he, quote, became angry and charging other students and teachers trying to punch and shove them. He shoved his teacher into a water basin in the classroom, causing her rib pain, and she had difficulty breathing. Several teachers had to physically restrain him to keep him from hurting anyone else. A witness said it was the most violent episode she has witnessed in several years of teaching students with behavioral problems. The EACS security manager couldn't comment on yesterday's event, but he did say teachers are trained how to resolve violence in the classroom, plus each school has its own crisis intervention team. If a student's out of control, we'll call uh, that team together to deal with the student. If, if that team doesn't, uh, is not effective or the student's beyond that control, then we could call the police. For the time being, EACS officials don't plan to change security measures in their classrooms. I think we just need to keep doing what we are and just continue to train people and troubleshoot as we have situations that, that do go awry. Now, the boy's mother confirmed he does suffer from behavior issues and hadn't seen a doctor in a long time. The 10-year-old was taken to the Allen County Juvenile Justice Center. In Studio 15, Megan Royst, News Channel 15.